In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the graph, get the equation, and do the calculations for part B of your laser diffraction and nanoparticle lab, measuring really small things for the, the nanoparticles part. So I'm using LibreOffice Calc. It's from LibreOffice version 5.1. If you have a different version, it might be slightly different, but it should be pretty close. So I've already input the volume of potassium bromide added in microliters, as well as the um, lambda max, the wavelength of maximum absorption for each of my solutions that I made. And so all you do is you highlight the numbers, don't highlight the words, just the numbers. Go to insert chart, click on XY scatter, go to next, next again, next again, input your title, it's going to be um, an unclicked display legend. For your title, it will be wavelength uh, versus uh, volume of KBR. Subtitle will be your name. X-axis is volume of KBR in microliters. And Y-axis will be the wavelength of maximum absorbance, lambda max, and that's in nanometers. Click on the x-axis box so that both x and y-axis are shown, it doesn't really matter. Click uh, finish, and now you have your graph, but we need to get the equation. So right click on one of the data points, go to insert trend line, and click power the degree should be 2 and make sure you click show equation and show coefficient of determination r squared click OK and there is your equation which is what you need now what you should do is you should uh, save this graph as a PDF export as a PDF and, and insert this into your your lab report but I'm gonna finish this out by just showing you the calculations now here's the thing we know that this relationship should be an inverse square root. And so <clears throat> this equation here, f of x or y is equal to some number times x to the minus 0.55. That's really x to the minus 1 half. We're going to call that x to the minus 1 half. And so we're going to solve this equation for x. f of x or y is going to be the wavelength of maximum absorbance for your unknown, which you also measured. And we solve for x, which is the volume of potassium bromide added to your unknown solution in microliters. So let's go over and do that. So this is the equation that we got. And I've neatened it up a little bit, tidied it up. I put y instead of f of x. And LibreOffice Calc gave me 2794 point and a bunch of numbers. I just took the everything in front of the decimal point. And instead of doing x to the minus 0.55, whatever, I just did x to the minus 1 half, which you should do also. Your power should be pretty close to minus 0.5 thereabouts. And in this equation, y is the lambda max for your unknown in nanometers. You measure this. x is the volume of potassium bromide that I added to your unknown solution in microliters. And so if we rearrange this, we multiply both sides by x to the positive one-half and divide by y, we get this. And then take the, um, we square both sides, we get this. Now let's say that I measured the wavelength of maximum absorbance from my unknown, and I got 590 nanometers. You have a different number. Whatever you measured, this number right here, it's whatever you measured for the maximum absorbance, the, the, the wavelength at that peak in your graph for your unknown. So we put 590 in here, 2794 here, which again, I got this 2794 from the equation of that line that I just had LibreOffice Calc draw. It was a number in front of x. Now the units here, it ends up working out 27, this number in front of x to the minus 1 half, 2794 has some weird units like microliters to the 1 half times nanometers, and the nanometers cancel, but this one case we don't have to worry about, about units, it works out. We solve this, I get 22 microliters. So, so I would report for my unknown that 22 microliters of potassium bromide were added. 
Um, you're going to only want two sig figs for this number uh, to the ones, please.